The Delta variant has forced more US companies to shelve their return to work plans until at least next year. And it's not only big tech, Starbucks and Ford are amongst those delaying office reopenings. Here in the UK, progress has been much quicker. In a recent survey, four out of five British managers told the Chartered Managers Institute they expect to ask some people back to their workplace this month. Christian Ulbrich is the chief executive of the commercial real estate firm Jones Lang LaSalle, JLL. He joins me from Frankfurt uh, by Skype. Good to see you, sir. Uh, look, this is interesting because I always still think of commercial real estate. You're crying into your beer because the situation is so bad. Is it still so bad? No, not at all, Richard. Thank you for having me situation is actually pretty good. Um, there's a vibrancy in the economic recovery, and we cover a lot of asset classes, not only offices. And as you know, especially the area of, of distribution centers is booming massively, but also data centers, life sciences. So there are a lot of asset classes who are really running at high speed. And the return to work the the hybridization, if you like. First of all, what are you doing in your company? I mean, obviously, you're, there's a certain local element to it, depending upon where in the world. But as a matter of principle, are you going for a hybrid model? Yeah, absolutely. I think every company is is uh, is wise if they adopt a hybrid model because that's what employees want. They wanted it before the pandemic, and they wanted even more post-pandemic, but a hybrid model means that you are coming to the office a couple of days a week and you're working from elsewhere the other days of the week. It doesn't mean that you're only working from home or only working in the office. And I think that is very important. And as you rightly pointed out, there are massive cultural differences across the whole world, but also within the US. You have very different behavior in the south of the US and versus San Francisco or Chicago or New York. And, and Every company has to be adjusting to those cultural differences so that their employees feel comfortable to get back to the office. And, and when we talk about that, the, we were talking about it to, to Richard Edelman last night on this program, and he said it's really important, uh, you, you'll know Richard Edelman, he, he really important that CEOs do what they say, say what they mean, and keep their word about the promises they're making. I expect you agree with that, but is it possible to do it? Oh, well, I, I certainly agree with that, and I hope it is for every CEO possible to do it. I, I try very hard to stick to that line. Um, listen, you know, there's no doubt that we have seen productivity falling uh, during that long phase of the pandemic and, and very many people working from home. At the beginning, productivity was still very high when that was relatively new. But over time, this has been fading. There's a lot of stress on people if they only have to work from home. So in all the surveys we are doing amongst our clients, we see that there's a real eagerness from the majority of the people to spend a couple of days a week back in the office to have a real cut between their work life and their private life. But again, we have to show as employers the flexibility and, and and be very adaptable to the needs of our employees and also to the cultural sensitivities which you have. You know, when you drive right. to your office by car, it's a different story than when you have to use public transportation. And let's now look actually at the property itself. The repurposing of commercial properties. Where would it go towards? Does it go towards residential? We hear of a glut of properties. We hear of older properties that need to be reconditioned. So if you have to pull out trends, and I guess I'm thinking in developed markets now, what would they be? Well, indeed, in most markets, you have a very high demand for additional resi space. Mm -hmm. uh, that has to do with uh, kind of enlarged expectations of people. They want just more space. It also has to do with movements within countries. So Within the US, you have that strong movement towards, for example, Texas. And so there's strong demand for resi space there. When we generalize, we also see that we have an oversupply of retail space and especially some of the shopping centers, which are not kind of the leading shopping centers in an area, need to be repurposed. And there are all kinds of things you can do with some of those depending on their location, but there will be quite a bit of repurposing necessary. And then for office building, 
this is an issue which is predominantly around kind of the B2C locations where we need to repurpose some of these office buildings into resi or into hotels or, or other forms of usage. All right, now, Kristen, I, I'm going to go straight for the jugular here. I was chatting to some people in uh, in commercial real estate and they said, and it's them, not me, that there is a there is a looming recession in commercial real estate of all sorts, the like of which we've not seen before. Do you buy that? Or you, do you think that's, there's any scintilla of that truth in that? I would strongly disagree with that assessment. Clearly, it depends what assets you are invested in. But as long as you are invested into quality assets in, in premier locations, in, in good cities, you will be fine. Uh, we see a very strong demand for those assets with regards from the investor side, but we also see good demand with regards to the occupier side. But there's right, so there is, there is repurposing necessary. But frankly speaking, I would be more concerned about this, the ESG footprint, the environmental footprint wow. of my building, rather than how it does on the back of the pandemic. We will see much more changes coming with regards to the carbon footprint of buildings, where we need a lot of upgrading of buildings going forward. Christian, thank you, sir. Very good to talk to you on this subject. Important. I'm grateful. Thank you.